Hello, welcome to Ray Ray's Kitchen. Today I'm cooking up some beef brisket on the barbecue. For the recipe, I put in uh, garlic powder, black pepper, cumin, chili powder, salt, and in the middle between them, I just put a whole garlic. See how that turns out, just let it smoke along with it for maybe four or five hours. Let's see how it turns out. Stack all your coals on one side of the grill and stick the uh, brisket on the other half. This way we will get that slow cooking going on. Put the lid back on, make sure the vent is open and uh, directly above the meat. And then come check on it every half hour, rotate the meat. This time I put tin foil down to preserve some of the moisture in there. I have a, a, a juicier cut, I suppose. Covered it up after two hours. Preserve some of that moisture. Don't, I, I just did this for a fun toast. Now I'm gonna add some smoke. Don't have any wood. So what I got was a cinnamon stick, some allspice, and mustica. Which is like gum from a tree. It smells really nice. It's like an incense, you can incense your own house with it. And then open up that tin foil, fill it all the smoke in, the flavour that meat. Oh, it smells gorgeous. So at this point, I think it's been in about four hours. I think it's pretty much ready. I just gonna add, uh, just leave it in for a little bit longer, just to, so the meat is nice and tender. And then that cinnamon stick is all nearly fully burnt out now, so we should have the nice infusion of flavors in there. I'm just gonna go ahead and rip a chunk off right there. See how easy that comes off? Mmm, delicious. So tender. See, I left it in for about five hours. Really nice, very tender, a little bit juicy, and that garlic looks incredible. I'm just slicing it up now just to make it look neat, but I don't really have to. Look, I can easily just rip it apart with my fingers. Nice pulled beef, delicious. You can put it in a sandwich, or have it with mashed potatoes, or whatever. Gravy. Mm. And that that garlic was delicious.